Ferrari has recently revealed its car for the 2024 Formula One season. The SF24 brings to the forefront an array of technical advancements, including a distinctive element located near the halo and the affirmed bypass duct. This prancing horse from Marinello has confidently trotted beyond the boundaries set by its predecessor, the SF23, receiving an enthusiastic thumbs up from its drivers, who've noticed a remarkable enhancement in their driving experience from the previous year. A fascinating detail that has drawn considerable attention is the emergence of a new duct for air. This addition, positioned strategically next to the halo and above the already established bypass duct is not merely a random alteration. It's a well-thought-out innovation aimed at improving the aerodynamic efficiency of the SF24. This new addition to the SF24 is not just a mere alteration, it's a testament to Ferrari's relentless pursuit of perfection. Now let's delve into the technicalities of this intriguing new addition. The bypass duct, first introduced in the SF23, is making a comeback in the SF24, but with a twist. The bypass duct is quite a marvel. It's designed to draw in air from the side pod inlets and guide it onto the engine cover. This creates a blowing effect that energizes the incoming airflow on the engine cover. It's all about maximizing the synergy of airflow and engine performance, creating a perfect ballet of power and precision. But the SF24 isn't just bringing back the bypass duct, oh no. The engineers at Ferrari have added a new component, a deflector, installed right above the outlet of the channel. This addition is connected to the base of the halo, and it's not there just for show, it serves a key function in the aerodynamic efficiency of the car. This deflector works to clean the airflow, directing it in a specific path towards the rear of the car. It's a bit like a conductor leading an orchestra, guiding each note, or in this case, each gust of air, to its proper place. The idea is to make this deflector work in harmony with the bypass duct, speeding up the exiting air and feeding the airflow on the engine cover. This delays the air's separation, thus enhancing the car's aerodynamic efficiency. But there's another fascinating theory at play here. The blown flow from the bypass duct might be interacting with the hot gases exiting the side pods. These gases are somewhat chaotic, not following any set path. It's plausible that Ferrari is attempting to clean these unruly gases with the incoming air from the bypass duct. So what's the takeaway here? The SF24 isn't just a car, it's a testament to Ferrari's continuous pursuit of innovation and excellence. This new duct isn't just about adding another component, it's about redefining the car's aerodynamics, all in the name of speed and precision. This is not just a duct, it's a seamless integration of form and function, all in the pursuit of unmatched speed and precision. In the world of racing, identity is everything. Ferrari with the SF24 has not just copied concepts, but has interpreted them in its own unique way. While other manufacturers may follow a trend, Ferrari has a knack for making its own path. The SF24 with its new air duct is a testament to this. It's a bold move, one that showcases the team's confidence in its own innovative prowess. Initial impressions of this bold design are positive. The drivers have reported better sensations and there's a palpable sense of optimism in Marinello. However, just like a fine wine, the true essence of this machine will only be revealed with time. The Bahrain preseason testing session, which is right around the corner, promises to be an exciting opportunity to see the SF24 in action. The true potential of the SF24 is yet to be unveiled. But one thing is clear. Ferrari, with its innovative spirit, is set to redefine the boundaries of speed.